I will be showing you all how I was able to get the glow skin for free in Fortnite. Now you can all do something just like that too. And we are starting now. What's going on guys? My name is Storm Ranger, and welcome back to another one of my videos. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn how to get better at Fortnite, complete your challenges fast, and improve at all sorts of other Fortnite related things, start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Alright, so it is very, very important that you watch this video until the very end because you go over a ton of vital information for how to get the glow skin that you must not miss. So I was able to get the glow skin using the in-store method. This is where you go into a store, download Fortnite on a demo phone, and then redeem the skin through that demo phone. Assuming everything goes exactly right on your first try, this method should only take you about 30 to 45 minutes. It's also a relatively easy and safe method to do. So to begin this method, you just need to figure out exactly what store that you are going to go into. I recommend going into a store for a cell service provider such as T-Mobile or AT&T. Now the reason for this is because these stores tend to not really care if you're trying to get the skin on a demo phone. I have used in-store method multiple times over for this skin and for previous skins, and out of all those times, I've only been stopped once, which was in the Microsoft store, as obviously they know what Fortnite is. In cell service provider stores, they either don't know what you're doing or just don't care. Now once you are in a store, you want to head over to one of these phones you can see on screen now. Any of these phones will allow you to redeem the glow skin. Since these include most recent Samsung devices, I can almost guarantee you that the store that you go into will have one of these phones. Obviously, it's worth noting that if you don't feel like going all the way into a store to claim the skin, you can always redeem the skin through the device of a friend who does not play Fortnite. But since you're probably like me and don't have any friends, you may just want to use the in-store method instead. So once you have found the phone that you're going to use, you're going to want to act interested in the product probably ask questions or act as though you're interested in switching to their service. After a few minutes, just let them know that you want to look around for a bit. It does help significantly if you do have someone who comes with you, like a parent or a guardian, or just a friend, if of course you have those, because that way, one person could ask questions and act like they are a potential customer, while you could download Fortnite and act as though you're waiting for your friend. If the people in the store think that you're a customer, then they most likely will not stop you, as letting you mess around with their phone is often a good way of getting or keeping a customer, and insulting them and asking them to get off their phone is often a phenomenal way of losing a customer. So once you are on the phone, you want to go into Google and type Fortnite Android Download. Then hit search and click on the first link that you see, which should be to this website. Then click either Epic Games or Samsung regarding which version to download. While it doesn't really matter, I know for a fact that hitting Epic Games works, so just click that. Then a file should download to your phone. If you don't see one, just click the Restart Download button. Once the file is downloaded, click the Open button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It is possible that you might get interrupted by this notification you can see on screen now, telling you that you cannot download unknown apps for security reasons. If that is the case, click Settings. If you are then interrupted again, saying that you can't change the settings on that phone, you'll either need to go to another phone, or if you still get that error, go to a completely different store. However, if you are brought to settings, then just click this box saying, allow from this source to allow the phone to download the app. Once you've passed that part, all you need to do is go back to where you were before, and you'll be asked to install the Fortnite launcher. Simply install the Fortnite launcher, and then when it asks you to, open the Fortnite launcher. Then you'll be brought to this screen that you can see on screen now. On the screen, just click the download button, and then this notification should pop up. This notification does not matter, and just click continue, and then you'll get another notification. Don't worry, this notification does not matter either, just click allow. At this point, the yellow button should say downloading, and should tell you what percent of the program is downloaded. It should only take a few minutes for this bar to fill up. Once this bar hits 100%, your screen should look like this. Here, just click the launch button. This will cause for your game to open. You will be prompted to log into your Fortnite account once the game loads, so obviously do that. Just remember when doing this method, if you have two-factor authentication on your Fortnite account, you will need to have access to the email that your two-factor authentication is connected to. So make sure that you'll have a way to access that while you are at the store. Now once you've logged in, if you are prompted to save your sign-in information, remember to click never as you don't want the phone to remember your login information as obviously you do not want people logging into your Fortnite account. Once you're logged into Fortnite, a trailer should pop up. Just skip this trailer and you'll be brought to this page. Here, just click the install button. You may see that it says that you need to install nearly 5 gigabytes of data. So, this is where you need to hope that the store has really fast Wi-Fi or cellular. 
a relatively fast Wi-Fi will cause for about 1% of the game to download every 20 to 30 seconds. If this is the case, then it will take about 30 minutes for the game to download. If the internet is slower, however, it will take longer. Forgive me for the use of math right here, however, if you do want to figure out exactly how long it will take to download, open the timer app on your phone and time exactly how long it takes between each full percentage. For example, how many seconds it takes from the downloading progress to go from 1% to 2%. Then, just take that number and multiply it by what percentage you have left until the phone hits 100%, which in this case is 98. Then finally, divide that number by 60 and you will get exactly how many minutes it will take for Fortnite to download. Keep in mind that number is only a rough estimation and isn't exact, as Wi-Fi and cellular speeds tend to fluctuate significantly. If you are unsatisfied with the irrelevant speeds, you can always swipe down, like you can see on screen now, and mess around with your Wi-Fi settings using either one of these two buttons, but be careful, you may mess something up and cause for your download progress to reset. Now during the download process, you will need to click the phone every minute or so, though personally, I clicked it every 20 to 30 seconds to be safe. This is because if you leave the phone for too long, it will turn off and potentially delete the Fortnite app. So make sure that you're tapping the phone to make sure that it doesn't automatically turn off. Also, while you're doing this, make sure to grab other products off the shelves, look at them and act like you're interested in buying them so you look like you're actually just browsing around at their products and not downloading something on their phone. Once your phone has finally downloaded Fortnite, you're going to want to go into the Fortnite store. If the app does ask you which store you want to use, click the Samsung store as the Glow Skin Bundle is connected to the Samsung store and not the Epic Games store. If by any chance you accidentally click the Epic Games Store or it's selected by default, you can always switch to the Samsung Store by clicking on Settings, then clicking on the Person tab in the right hand corner, and then scrolling down and clicking this button you can see right here to switch to the Samsung Store. Credit to the YouTuber Action for figuring this out and recording this video and posting it to his Twitter. I'll leave a link to his Twitter and YouTube down in the description. I highly recommend you go check him out. Now another reason the glow skin may not pop up in the Fortnite store is if someone has already claimed it. Now that likely won't be a case since the glow skin just came out and someone can actually in fact redeem both the glow skin and the iconic or galaxy skins on the same device. Credit to FN Summer on Twitter for figuring that out, but since the same phone cannot claim the glow skin twice, I would try to redeem the skin as soon as possible just to be safe and decrease the probability that someone redeemed the skin before me. Now once the glow skin does pop up within your store, you're going to want to click on it. I mean, I guess that step is kind of obvious. But then on this screen, just click purchase. At this point, you'll be asked to log into a Samsung account. While doing this, and on the next few steps, be incredibly careful and fast, as I wasn't careful nor fast, and my game actually crashed on me and deleted the app. I had to reinstall the entire app, nearly 5 gigabytes, all over again. Just don't waste any time, because if you do, it's possible that all of a sudden your game will crash. I don't know why. Maybe when I was doing it, I clicked the wrong button when I wasn't supposed to, but just be careful because you never really know stuff like this. Now, regarding your Samsung account, you will want to create one beforehand because of the reason I just explained. Personally, I just logged in through the Google Gmail that was connected to my Fortnite account. I do not remember if I already set it up as a Samsung account beforehand, but I believe that you don't need to set a Samsung account up as long as you're logging in through Gmail because I think they are connected. Once you get through this step, you are on the final and probably the hardest step, and this is to enter in your credit card information into the phone. Yeah. When doing this, I tried to enter in false credit card information using a website like the one you can see on screen right here, link in the description of course, but unfortunately, Samsung picked up that it was fake information. Maybe it was because there were some inconsistencies regarding the information that the website gave me and what I actually entered, but from what I can tell, incorrect credit card information just does not work. This also happened to me on my attempt when my game crashed shortly afterwards when I was entering in my actual credit card information. So you can try and enter in false information, However, I did run into some difficulties. So I did in fact end up on entering in my actual credit card information. I was able to erase the credit card information and all my log information shortly after from that device. And of course, I will show you all how to do that within a minute. There isn't really any risk regarding entering in your credit card information to the device. In fact, I would say it's even safer than giving your information to a waiter or a cashier. But of course, if you're not comfortable with entering in your credit card information into a demo phone at a store, that is understandable. And if you are a kid and don't have a credit card, and your parents don't want to enter in their information to a demo phone, you have to respect that and not give your parents a hard time. Once you have entered in all of your credit card information, just click register, then click confirm, and finally click OK. And just like that, 
the glow skin will be added onto your Fortnite account. Once you have spent a minute admiring what you have just done, you need to worry about logging out and deleting your information properly. To start, make sure that you properly log out of Fortnite. To do this, click the three bars in the upper right hand corner of the screen and click the Back to Party Hub button. From here, click the two bars in the upper left hand corner and then click Settings. And finally, click Log Out. I also recommend deleting both Fortnite and its installer, which can be done by holding on it within the app selection and then clicking the uninstall button. And more importantly, regarding your Fortnite account and your credit card information, simply go into settings with the demo phone, search for accounts, click accounts and backups, and then click accounts. And here you should see your Samsung account along with any other accounts that you've logged into during the process of redeeming the glow skin. Keep in mind, your credit card information is connected to your Samsung account and not the phone. From here, just click the account that you want to log out of. Click these three dots and then click remove account. From here, click remove and then finally enter in your password. If you want more information on this, I will leave a link to the article that I used to figure all this out down in the description below so you can of course check that out when you are doing this for yourself. Once you have done all of this for all of your accounts that you used in the process of redeeming the glow skin, you will be finished and you can leave the store. If you are still concerned about your credit card information and want to take things one step further just to be safe, I assume that you can disconnect your credit card information from your Samsung account through their website. However, unfortunately I was unable to figure out how to do this as I was given an error preventing me from being able to log into my Samsung account while writing the script to this video. So yeah. That is how you can get the glow skin for 100% free within Fortnite. If you do have any questions on this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. I'll be trying my best to get back to every single one of you guys as soon as possible. Also, right now, I'll go over a few frequently asked questions that I do get on videos like this. So number one, is doing this illegal? No, this method is not illegal as far as I'm aware. You will not get in trouble for doing this, and the worst that will happen is if you are caught, you'll be asked to stop what you're doing. Number two, is this video fake? No, this video is not fake, as you can see from the background gameplay. Also, if you want, you can send a friend request to me. My username is use code Storms, and I will show you that I do have the glow skin. And finally, number three, what credit cards work for the Samsung store? The answer is any of these cards that you can see on screen now. Prepaid credit cards do, a matter of fact, work. However, unfortunately, debit cards do not. So hopefully I was able to clear a few things up for you guys there. But of course, if you still have questions, as I said before, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Anyways, that has been how to unlock the glow skin for 100% free within Fortnite Battle Royale. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, I would appreciate it if you could use my supporter creator code, STORMS, that is within us at the end when purchasing anything within Fortnite. And if you want to watch more of my videos, you can just click this card right here to watch my most recent video, and this card right here to watch the video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. And if this is your first time here, and you want to learn how to get better at Fortnite, complete your challenges fast, and improve at all sorts of other Fortnite related things, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. All you must do is click this card. Anyways, all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.